There's a sail on the flat, sail on the flat. That's a pair of slammers, boys. Nice fish. Reeling in the Keys with host Captain George Clark Jr. So we're talking sharks seems that everybody has this fascination with them and most people think of sharks living in the deep blue water and a lot of them do but captain chris johnson here at c squared charters in the middle keys came across a place not too far from here where we're going to go check them out and it's only two foot deep today on reeling in the keys captain chris will be taking us to get up close and personal with the misunderstood of all the sea creatures the sharks now what kind of sharks are we going to be very large sharks i hope Mostly lemons, but <laughs> seven footers, seven and a half footers. I love it. And looking at the tackle, we're using all spinning gear. All that's, spinning gear. That's awesome. 20 pound test. Perfect. Yep. Light tackle angling, big fish. It's going to be a good time. I'm ready to go. You? Let's do it. All right. Absolutely. Well, fishing with us today here is my deckhand, Jason Bell. How are we doing? Deckhand extraordinaire. He is the best. He's been with me for five years now. And uh, he is the shark whisperer when it comes to landing him out here. You'll get to see that later. This water is beautiful, really, really clean. Now, conditionally, what's the water temperature factor into you know catching these sharks? That's a big deal, right? It makes a huge difference. Uh, right now, we're the waters are cooling down as we are getting later into fall here, and uh, you know the waters came from 90 degrees. They're probably down to about 84, 83 right in there, which makes the sharks a lot more active. Happy zone. Happy zone. They like it. 78 to 83 is their primo temperature range. So that's what we're going to experience right here. They should be on fire. Should be good. I want to catch a couple monsters. Monster, Monster sharks. So, so how do you put the bait through that? I mean, just put it through the we, loop? We lasso the fish's head <laughs> right on there like that. And then what you do is you crank like mad and hope you can get them to the boat before they cut through. And make sure that you wind the handle off the reel. That's right, okay. absolutely. Perfect, got it, I got it. <laughs> Perfect. Literally, we've been here five minutes, got the chum in the water to attract them, to get them to find us. And we've got like six or seven sharks already showed up. They're already piling in here and they're aggressive. Nice sharks, anywhere from four, a four foot shark. Here's one right down here below the boat. <laughs> a pretty big one too. Uh, don't wash your hands overboard. If you're doing this, wash your hands in the boat. One thing that I wanted to ask you in this scenario, you know, all these sharks are coming in here, but they look like they're taking turns. Is that the, is that? They're very deliberate about coming in and feeding. I don't know if there's a hierarchy kind of thing. Right. Um, after a while, you won't see it they'll become more deliberate, so to speak. You know, they right. come in here and, and they'll, as more come in, their their aggressiveness picks up, picks up, picks up because- I'm seeing some kind of kind of picking up the pace a little bit, mm -hmm. but I just wondered, you know, it's, it's I'm watching them kind of single file. They're just kind of coming in one after another. They're yes. not all trying to- Pile in on pile the same in. time. Yeah. Towards, towards a couple hours in when there's 20 of them around, 30 of them around. That's, that's a monster right that's there. A one right there. That's a big one. <laughs> it's a big one. That's a big one. Circle hooks are very important in this fishery. We don't want to harm our sharks, especially in lemon sharks, which are protected in the state of Florida. We're using a hook here that will rust away within like 10 to 12 days of being in her mouth. It goes away. It's like they don't even care if you, when it's in there, right? but right. when it goes away quickly, we prefer that. And it doesn't affect there. them eating. Absolutely they, not. They can have it there and still eat because we've caught sharks we've in caught the them past. With yeah. Other hooks in their mouth, like nothing ever happened. I've caught them with my own hooks in their mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is a, a, looks like a black nickel finish on yes. it. What yep. about the silver ones? You don't want to use stainless or anything. You don't want to use anything. stainless or anything because right. then it'll stick there forever. And, and we don't even try to remove them. We just let them sit in the rust. We're trying to remove these circle hooks from a from a shark hurts them more it hurts right? them when yeah. you do more damage than you do good so just better off to just cut them loose and, and let them be first bait going out oh there's four there <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> 
There's a bite. There we go. Good. Let him go. Hit him. Oh, fish on! He's like, he turned around. He's like, why did lunch oh. bite back? <laughs> oh. Let's go. There's a shot. Still trying to figure out what's going on. That's what they want to hear. <laughs> That's what they want to hear. Oh, this is. They're all heavy. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> He's up on the surface here, splashing around. This is why we don't try to remove the hooks. See, even the little ones, he's like, I'll bite you. Stick your hand in here. Do it, do it. Go ahead. I'll bite it. <laughs> That's why we just leave the hooks. <laughs> yeah, you know what? It's you just so much cheaper to buy another hook. <laughs> That's right. 10 cent hook, $10,000 hand. Right. What's it going to be? All right, Shark, we're going to let you go. We're going to be nice to you. There he goes. There he, he goes. goes. Hunk O Ladyfish. Round two. Oh, you almost put that right on his head. <laughs> Damn, I just missed. Knock them unconscious like that. See if they're gonna eat. See how aggressive they are. He's right there. That's a bigger one. Yeah, he's like, oh, that sure did smell good. There's a bite. That's a big one, too. Go for it. Oh, Nelly. Oh, he spit it. Spit it. Ah. Coming back. Yep. They will, too. They, that little bit of pressure barely recognized that something went wrong. There he is. Oh, get in there. Go, 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 go. There oh, there you go. All right, slow down. Slow down. <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh oh. We could have a bite off. So, sight fishing, basically. There it is. Look at the shark on it. Oh, yeah. See the bait hanging on the line right oh. there. Don't eat it. Shark's right on it. Oh, don't right eat the bait off. <laughs> Yeah, we're basically sight fishing. Now there, there's so many sharks that came in here to feed, we can pretty much throw the bait in between three or four fish and we're getting a bite almost instant. That's good fishing. That, I mean, that doesn't get that's, any better than that. as good as you can ask for sharks. When you can pick and choose what you want to catch. That's pretty darn good fish. There's a pile of them in here now. Oh yeah. It's gonna get better. Yeah, at least a dozen swimming around and we can see. Yeah, it'll probably get better. Get more aggressive. Maybe we'll get some oddball So when do we take a break and swim? Whenever you're ready. Perfect. I'm game. Just for those snorkelers. That's right. Note to self, there's no rock in this hole. <laughs> moment. There oh, goes. there he goes. <laughs> bye bye, Charky. Come again. You know the movie Jaws, and you fishing the people that you fish all the time. I'm sure Jaws gets brought up a lot. Every single yeah, trip. Absolutely. Every trip. It changed. It changed the way people looked at sharks for sure, because nobody really knew much about them except that they ate people. Yeah, <laughs> you or know? so they thought anyway. Not so, much of a man eater. <laughs> what's your favorite line from the movie Jaws? Well, it probably has nothing to do with the shark at all, but it's Quint with the, here's the swimming with bow-legged women. That's an old Navy thing probably oh, for it had sure. To be. 
Had to be. I, I, long. I mean, the whole the whole movie was was great. I like I like when Quinn's talking about sharks and and their eyes are all dark and cold. Oh <laughs> yeah, black and lifeless. That's right. That, that to me, I get the shivers. I'm like, <laughs> ooh. All right, Jason. What's your favorite line from the movie Jaws? Well, I probably have to say we're gonna need a bigger boat, only because the clients ask me that every time we go on a shark trip. Usually before we they even joke, go on the boat. They, they joke oh, yeah. about it, yeah. As I'm introducing myself, usually, Jason, are we gonna need a bigger boat? Every time, every time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, we caught three singles in a row and it took almost no time. We're gonna double up on them now and yeah. see. We're gonna see. go double or nothing here. Double down. See who gets bit first. I got bit. Oh, you got a big one too. Look at that. Coming at us, coming at us. Oh my God. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger boat. That's a big, that's a big one that's too. That's a big one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got the bait hanging there. I had, to, oh! I had to do some cranking on that one to get tight to him. <laughs> he came right at us, right? <laughs> Come on, George, you're supposed to catch one now. I know. You he stole my shark, <laughs> man. Uh-oh. Got a bite. There we go. There we are. Oh, doubled up. Doubled up. Oh, he's oh. jumping. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> <Yee -haw! laughs> oh, yeah. This is what it's all about. That was a big in there. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Hard to get. Hard to get tight. Oh, he's dumping me. <laughs> I can't move my fish. He's just like, no, nah, I ain't having it, dude. Uh, okay. Ooh, look at him out there. This is a really nice one. Oh, they're all God's creatures, but this one has got more size. <laughs> I'm down to the backing, Captain. <laughs> Quick, add more. <laughs> <laughs> to reiterate, we're doing this all on light tackle. Spinning rods, 20 pound, 20 pound line. There's no easy way to do this. You just have to do it. And this will be one of the best fights you'll ever have on light tackle. There's no doubt about it. Like I said, don't wear yourself out. Just take your time. Let the shark, you know, decide what it wants to do, and then it'll let you get some line back. Well, I've been on this fish for just over six hours now. Completely winded and tired, but I'm not gonna give up. I can still see him. Well, he's still out like 50 yards or something like that. Like when I play golf, if I get it even close to where the green is, I just pick the ball up. Is that, does this count? <laughs> it's not that easy. <laughs> when I started out, I was clean shaven. <laughs> you gotta love it. I can't feel my legs now, guys. Is that normal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> really? <laughs> Whose idea was it to do two at a time? Oh, I think it was yours. I'm blaming this on you. That was a dumb idea. <laughs> But it worked. Well, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Just be careful what you wish for. That's right. Careful you know? what you wish for. I'm thinking, yeah, we'll catch two of those little smaller ones, the five footers. No, no, no. Uh -huh. You got a monster. I got, I got a, a monster. Plus. Yep. Yours looks very it's large. They're, too. they're twins. That's right. And uh, oh, this is good. Yeah. I don't have to be anywhere anytime soon. No. So. Enjoying 
some beautiful Florida weather. Climate's perfect, conditions are perfect. There's no rain. Nope, it's absolutely gorgeous out here today. We picked an awesome day, there's so, a nice breeze. Come on down here, folks, and get out here and do this. If you wanna have fun, it might be cold where you're at. Come on down, give Chris a call. Jason and Chris bring you out here and break your arms off. That's right. Plenty of time. Yes. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about C-Squared Charters. Where did the name come from, number one? Give me a little background, man. The, the name C-Squared comes from my name being Chris and my wife's name being Christy. Okay. So C, the letter C, squared. Okay. And we just kind of played around with it. Matter of fact, it was one of them bar napkin situations that the name <laughs> came up and that's no joke. But we do all kinds of fishing, everything from the shark fishing here, snappers uh, on the reef. We do gulf fishing for cobias. We do... You name it, if my boat fits there, we'll go catch it if it's if it's in season. There you that's, go. That's what we do. I mean, you name it, we do it. We I do wanted it. to mention so many great ideas come from bar stools. That's right. Absolutely. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there. Absolutely. Millions and billions of dollars are made on a bar stool. So. That's right. That's right. Yeah, no, we uh, we do it all. We, we like to cater to the families, make sure the kids are having a great time so mm -hmm. they want to fish in the future. That's very important there you go. to us. And uh, we, we enjoyed taking the kids out very much. Oh, Pardon geez. me, I gotta go around oh, the house. See you later, man. <laughs> now when we get him up here, I'm gonna jump on its back and ride it for a little bit. See if I can hang on for more than seven seconds. Oh, I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. No, don't go that way. <laughs> You're killing me, fish. You're killing me. Oh, come here, pal. I just want to look at you, man. I'm going to let you go. Come here, pal. Oh, she's a beauty. She's got a remoras all around her. You know, it's amazing how this life for 20, 30 minutes and the remora is still hanging. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. All right, Jason, is this a catch now? Yes, sir. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Woo! I did it. I did it, Mom. That's a nice one. So what do you say, seven footer? I think he's right about there. Yeah. Probably 130, 140. You know, most fishermen exaggerate when they when they look at a fish. Oh yeah, I was out today. I caught a 13 footer on, on a big rod. There we go. I win. You win. Look at that. But let's face it, there's no real losers here. No. Maybe just your arm. My arms are definitely tired. That's awesome right there. Dueling sharks. That's right. right. Your fish that fish for a half an hour, not a single trip. Wow. And then you get them used to. And then you get those ones that break off. And yeah. That's awesome right there, guys. Pretty. Pounds worth of shark. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello, buddy. Nice. Yep. Cut him loose. Oh, oh, there goes mine. Perfect. Oh, oh. and that one bit through. <laughs> well done, guys. Good job. All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's where it's at right there. That was there. awesome. That was awesome, man. Shallow water, a couple feet of water. I like it when you can land them at the same time, too. Like that, that was cool. <laughs> that was awesome. So well I'm done, guys. Who's up? Don't crank against the drag, sir. Open the bail, right? <laughs> yes. You got the rod upside down. <laughs> uh, fairly large lemon shark. See him, see him jumping off in the distance. Yeah, he just took his first run. A lot of head shaking. Do you know there's a lot of sharks around here right now? Where? They're everywhere. <laughs> oh, I thought I was grunt fishing. <laughs> Man, that's like the third big run. Yeah. The fun part's over. <laughs> yeah. Now you got to go to work. That's all work, yeah. Get him, Jason. Get him. I'm getting him. I'm slowly but sure. Slow and steady wins the race, said the tortoise. Again. To the rabbit. Then he got hit by a car. <laughs> oh, oh and a release. We'll count that one. Um, See that? Good job, Nothing man. Nothing but professionals nice here. Well, we had a ton of fun out here catching sharks. And in conclusion to today, shark fishing is fun. Loads of fun. 
All I right. recommend it to anybody that wants to catch big fish on light tackle. Absolutely. And, you know, thanks a lot, guys. I want to thank, thank you, Chris Absolutely. and Jason, for bringing us out My here. Pleasure. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Reeling in the Keys and, and get down here and, and check out Sea Squared Charters. Get out here and do this. If you want to have some fun, bring the kids along and, and productively catch fish pretty much the entire time you're here. Check these guys out. And make sure you tune in next week for another exciting episode of Reeling in the Keys here in the Florida Keys. There's a place out on the ocean Ain't on a map anywhere The captain's looking at the water He knows exactly where to steer No internet or Wi-Fi tower All that stress is gone The line's just went in the water And somebody yells, fish on! And it's just another day Reeling in the keys We got that fishing feeling There's no place we'd rather be We're a million miles from nowhere But we ain't lost at sea Just loving life, living the dream Reeling in the keys